Ladies and gentlemen, we are 24 hours removed from the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam. Welcome to NSW Raw. My name's Dave Easton, alongside the one and only Maz Freeway. Maz, good evening. Good evening, Dave. And have you recovered from last night, Maz? Oh, what a great night it was. What a great party afterward, too. Well, we are looking forward to tonight. We will find out tonight who is the new Raw GM. Could it be Disney? Could Jen Michael keep his job, man? We will find out tonight. Yep, yeah, we'll have to see once Vincent Hippie Mundo gets here. Uh-oh. Uh, I think it's the boss. Yeah, it looks like it could be, yep. It is. Mr. McMundo is here, he said last night at SummerSlam. Well, we should we'll see what he's in the store for the Royal Rush. But coming up next, it is Evan Walker versus Dustin Healy. This is one on one action. It should be a very interesting matchup between these two. I don't think they've had a chance to meet yet in the ring. Well, and both men format SmackDown Superstars, man. Yeah, I don't think they ever got the chance to tie up in the ring uh, when they were on SmackDown, so this will be interesting to see if, how they do here on Raw. Well, here comes Evan Walker coming down to the ring. And of course, Maz, the fallout from last night. We have a new World Heavyweight Champion in Ryan Fox and also a new Disney Alliance member in Ryan Fox. Hey, what a shocker to see Disney bring out Ryan Fox to be the new member of the Disney Alliance that uh, this, uh, his alliance is just growing in leaps and bounds. And now they hold the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm sure we're going to hear from Bray Wyatt here tonight. And listen to this, six man tag action is your main event. The Wyatt family will take on the team of the new World Heavyweight Champion Ryan Fox and Travis Soul and Jay Kaifa in our main event. It's been interesting to see the White family going against the Disney Alliance. I'm sure Blue White is going to have some uh, not too nice words for Mr. Disney after what happened last night. Definitely fooled us yeah. all. I think that this feud might go on for a little while between these two or the groups. Yeah, and word going round, of course, new GM is going to be announced tonight. Any idea who, Maz? I don't know. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. I mean, it could possibly be Jen brought back, or maybe Vincent liked uh, what Joe did last week on Raw, and maybe he'll give Joe the job. We were going to find out later on, but for this one, what a way to kick off Raw. Episode 24, it is Dustin Healy versus Evan Walker. Ladies and gentlemen, the voting is open in the NSW app. Get your voting. Here we go. We are ready for the first match. Of Raw. And we are just about to start to go. Maz, who are you going for in this one? Uh, I think I might have to go with Dustin Healy. I think he's the more seasoned veteran here in NSW. And I don't know if uh, Evan Walker's got what it takes yet. Uh, of course, we will find out. If Evan Walker can indeed start climbing the ranks here in the raw side. And he definitely has the build for it, Maz. It's just trying to find out uh, if he can put it all together. Yeah, if you don't have all the pieces, uh, it can throw you off your game and you may not make it. Uh, hopefully he can kind of get over with the crowd here. Yeah, look at the kicks from Dustin Healy. Well known for the educated feet, of course. Led him to the NSW title in Season 1. I'm sure you would like to get to the World Heavyweight Championship here. As Healy goes with, that looked a very, very low, but you never know. Nice shot by Healy in control early on of Walker. Another good drop kick taking Walker off his feet. Walker just cannot seem to get going here, Maz, in the early going. Yeah, it's that veteran skills of uh, Dustin Healy coming out. He's really staying on top of this. Kind of, I would have to say rookie. I mean, he's only been here throughout season two, so. Anyone! Even Dustin Healy can do a Russian leg sweep. Well, let's see if Dustin Healy can keep on. Look at this. Oh, and that's going to slow your pace down a little bit. Right across the arm. And Avon going Dustin into the corner. Oh, nice clothesline. 
going to keep, he needs to keep this up and keep Dustin off his feet. He can post a high flying Dustin Healy. Evan, oh, nice, insecure back of the head. And you're saying the kicks are lethal from both men in this one, Maz. They're, they're, they're both pretty educated in the way of using their feet, but looks like uh, Evan Walker starting to use his size advantage here and starting to build some momentum. Definitely going to have to try and keep the power game going, of course, here. As he looks to pick up a huge victory here tonight on Raw. Look at this. Healy now. Oh, nice. That could be enough. Crowd seem to get behind Healy here. Into the cover. Hook of the leg. Got it. Oh, just two. Thought he had him. Only got it two. And now Walker trying to get the momentum back here. And now just using that ground and pound style that he's used to. We've seen him do a lot of times here on NSW. And look at this. Could be trying to put Healy away with Death Valley driver. And Maz, this could be it. Yeah, I wonder why he didn't go for the cover there. Very, very strange. But look at that. Oh, that might have done it. I don't know if that cut up Healy. Into the cover, hook of the leg. Two. No, oh, kick out of two in a bit. I'm sure Evan Walker thought he had the victory right there, but Healy digging in. Nice. Neck break, a center of the ring. Really softening up that neck area. But you would think Healy should have been down for the count, but he is still fighting here. Snap me a tape over into the kick to the back. That veterinary instinct you could see keeping him in this. And he's definitely pulling out and, and moving into the next gear, trying to find a way to put Evan down here. Look at this. Healy completely in control here. Now to the outside. Oh, hits the splash perfectly. Going back out again, looking to do more damage. Oh, but there was the miss. Walker now back in control of this one. Oh, he went to the clothesline, missed. Maybe that might have helped him. Nope. Healy again, able to reverse. Ah, oh, there it is. Good night. Two and that Got him. does it. Big win for Evan Walker here tonight on Vol. Yeah, definitely moving him up in the rankings. They're definitely looking to possibly get in a uh, US title shot. And you've got to see it. Very good opening contest to this one. Walker picking up the win. And you've got to see, I wouldn't mind seeing them two go at it again, Maz. Yeah, it was a very good matchup. Uh, possibly we'll see them further down the line. Well, big win for Evan Walker here tonight. And he will now just stake a claim for at least trying to get into one of the title pitchers very soon. There's another limo pulling up. Will this be our new Rob GM? Let's see who it is. Oh no. You know who this is, Maz. Right, there's Jay Kaifa. It's got to be the Disney Lions showing up. And there is Travis Soul. Of course, they don't realize, but they're going to be against the Wyatt family. AGZ. Of course, he's going to be in a match a little bit later on. The World Heavyweight Champion Ryan Fox. Look at that tile around his waist and the main man himself looks like the disney alliance is here in full force well we will find out coming up next it is tag team action as big show and scott steiner take on the russian connection can this be the russian connection's big chance to step up and take down scott steiner and big show and possibly get in line to possibly have a title shot and you can notice by his absence, no Jen Michaels. Now right here, he kind of went on a bit of a vacation. Well. It's not about going fishing. Yeah, something about that, but apparently, we will still got to call him the authority, but can you call him the authority now, Maz? Uh, no, I, I can call him just Steiner and Shell. Hopefully. Maybe Jen Michaels will come back and maybe they can get the authority back, but right now they have no authority. That's true. And really, to get the tag team titles back, they're going to have to start from the bottom. 
Right, got to work their way up, and if they can knock off the uh, rush connection here, it will definitely boost them up to possibly taking down maybe Beer Money again. That's true, and here Earth, the Russian connection, Giant Limbo, Vladimir, and of course the brains behind it all, Yuri Watson. It's nice to see that they got a Russian connection back here on Raw. We haven't seen him for a while, they've been over on main event. And they've been picking up some good victories over there as well. Yeah, I think that's why they got moved up to the main roster here to, or actually up to the Raw show to get a push to possibly get a tag team shot. Yeah, of course, tag team titles currently held by the Hounds. But listen to this, Maz. The Hounds, later on tonight, have to defend the tag team titles against Tim Rage and Zadlan. What a match that is going to be. Yeah, I heard that was made right after the SummerSlam pay-per-view. It was one of the biggest questions coming out of there is what was going on with Tim Rage and Zadlan attacking them. But here's the thing, Maz. You will not believe who asked for the match. Who was that? It was the Hounds. As yeah. anyone, even Giant Limbo, can do a Russian leg sweep. And that is true. Yeah, the Hounds are... Going back to that, sorry, Maz. Going back to that, the Hounds went to Joe Disney said we want their team and because Joe Disney was still the GM booked it for here tonight well, maybe the Hounds want to get some retribution for Tim Rage attacking them Ooh, that is going to come up a little bit later on but look at this match just four humongous superstars in the ring and you've got to see not many people will really outsize the big show but Giant Limbo and Vladimir could definitely do that yeah, Giant Limbo is just a couple inches shorter than the Big Show, but he's definitely going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him in there. And Vadimir, who is, uh, who's just decided to come in the ring, is now uh, fighting on. But now being picked up is so easily just puts him down. Near the other ring, uh, Giant Limbo trying to get a, a, a shot in there. Look at that collision. Mm, up too close to the corner. Oh, and that's wise. Limbo back in. Now going to work on the big show. And look at this show. Having to use his strength really to try and get even out of the bear hook by giant Limbo. Look at this. Limbo just throwing big show with ease. Okay, here we go. And look at this. Double team oh by the two rushes. Oh my goodness me! The ring just shook! I hope they reinforce those ring posts. And look at this, Show just shakes it off. Big shoulder tackle on Vadimir. And now can continue on. Show doing all the work here. Russian Connection doing the best thing to keep tagging out. Here comes Limbo Maybe again. Got to keep the fresh man in there and keep the Big Show off his uh, game right now. But really, Scott Steiner has just not got in this match at all, Maz. Yeah, Steiner's hanging out there on the ropes. He really hasn't gotten in to either help out Big Show, too. Look at this. Shot again. Limbo in control. Not many people dominate Big Show like this, but Limbo having his way here. Nice neck break at center of the ring. Now what's he doing? Tagging back to Vladimir. Oh, now he has the Scott Steiner. Many people wanted to see the Steiner inside the ring. Listen to the crowd go crazy for this guy. Yeah, the crowd seems to really have grown a licking to uh, Scott oh, Steiner. Oh, wow! Just to get his tag team partner. Miscommunication by Scott Steiner and the Big Show. Could, could this help the Russian connection here? Total miscommunication. Looks like they've got back on the same page. Steiner back in control now. Yui Watson still on the outside. Steiner again. Belly to belly throw. Wow. Steiner now going to work on Vladimir here. Russian connection in a lot of trouble. Yeah, ever since Scott Steiner got in there, it's been all Steiner show team right now. And the Russians are kind of off their 
Rucker right now and not be able to get on track. Yeah, but look at that. Yuri telling him to tag Giant Limbo and he does just that. And whoa, just a glancing blow by Steiner. Now trying to work over Giant Limbo here. It's going to take a lot more than that. The Limbo's got so much power. And look at this. Now where's he going? Oh, and Steiner over the top. Steiner, uh oh. This can't be good. These Russians can get dirty. Oh, big DDT. And look at this. Vladimir Anexo taking Big Show off the apron right behind the referee's back. That's what Big Show gets for not paying attention. I mean, you got to keep your head on a swivel out there. And there's two, two guys out there you're fighting. Limbo trying to get Steiner to come on the outside, though, it didn't work. Still continuing on here. Look at this. Steiner again catches a big belly to belly suplex. Steiner. Can he put him away here? Has him up. Kills him straight down. Suplex. Pile driver. But Limbo, it just, Limbo just bounced. And his head bounced off the floor. Yeah, giant Limbo going up the top rope. Look at this. Limbo. Oh! There is carnage all over the place here. Limbo, can he get the cover here? Not just a one. We've got to do a lot more to beat Steiner here. And Steiner again with a suplex. Hey, what Steiner lacks in size, he definitely makes up in strength. Definitely do that. Limbo, oh my God. Back and forth again. Now Limbo, look at this. Is he going to look for that big tombstone pile driver? Yes, he is. Surely that is enough to put Steiner away. Oh, but Big Show does the right thing and stops Limbo trying to pin his tag team partner here. Yeah, tied him up and gave uh, maybe Steiner a chance to get back in this. Yeah, it has given Steiner a chance to get up. But the small package! Referee's all out of position here. And that gives Big Show the chance to break it up. Yeah, it was really just a little bit too close to the corner and Big Show had a great opportunity to get there and make that save. And look at this, we're sure out of position. This could be enough. Steiner's already been hit down once. And that is a huge win for the Russian Connection here tonight. Yeah, hey, look out, tag team division. The Russian Connection are coming. The Hounds may have a next contender coming here. And well, if these guys are on form, the size of them and with the brains of Yuri watching, they are one dangerous tag team. Your winners here tonight. The Russian connection, and remember, Maz, they've just beaten former tag team champions. Yeah, that's why I said that the tag team champions are gonna have to keep a eye over their shoulder to make sure no one comes up from behind them because there's a lot of teams nipping at their heels. Well, oh, wait there. I told you we were gonna hear from him. Yeah, I'm sure he's not too pleased with uh, Mr. Joe Disney. Why he's going on about a war? Seeing Disney hasn't won anything. And now it looks like the Y family are coming after the Disney Alliance. Maz, maybe you were right. We just may have an all out war here between the uh, Wyatts and the Disney family. Well, we'll find out. Coming up next, it is a fatal four way el elimination match. Extreme Rules, the winner of this will be in the Fatal 4-Way match at Extreme Rules for the Hardcore Championship currently held by Matt Rhodes. Now, Maz, we have to tell you this just to the viewers as well. Whoever wins this will be Raw's second representative in the Fatal 4-Way. Apparently, it's been decided that every pay-per-view, the Hardcore Championship will now be decided in either an elimination four-man um, Fatal 4 way or a six man TLC. New rules coming out of the head office today. That could make the hardcore title one of the hardest titles to hang on to around here in NSW. And you were saying last night at SummerSlam, Maz, maybe it's time for Bobby Hall to look elsewhere, but yet, here he is again. Yeah, I got to talk to him before the show, and he was telling me that. 
this may be his last chance at going for the hardcore title. And he said that if he doesn't get the win here tonight, he's going to look to go on and try and move on to possibly getting the U.S. title shot. Well, we will find out. As here comes one of his opponents, and it is Harry Legend Killer Smith. Yeah, I've seen this guy do a lot of stuff since coming here, and I can definitely see him making a name for himself in the hardcore division the way he made a name for himself coming in. Well, we will find out if Harry Smith can get another chance at the title. He will have to go through three other men, and it's not going to be easy, especially with the team that look AJ Z, sorry, and Daniel Cage in this match. Yeah, both of them have been top contenders for a lot of belts around here, and they're definitely tough, two top competitors that I think uh, might have a chance to walk away as the number, number one contender here tonight. Well, we're going to find out, because we are going to be ready for this fatal four-way. And here is Daniel Cage, and what is Daniel Cage thinking, knowing that Tim Ridge is going for the tag belts with someone else? And maybe he's thinking, I'm breathing a sigh of relief that I don't have to deal with that crazy guy anymore. But man, I don't know, maybe he's. He was the one that seemed to control him, though. Yeah, and now that I guess he's gotten with that thing, he's just a little bit more out of control. Well, we'll find out. Daniel Cage ready for action here tonight. Remember, Daniel Cage looking to win the hardcore title, to win every title available. And well, talk about defending odds. I know, Maz, you're a big fan of this guy. Yeah, ever since his days in NXT, he's really shown a lot of heart and determination and can't count out that he's one of the top stars that Disney has picked up. The Z-Man, A-G-Z. Could we possibly be seeing a new hardcore champion here and AJZ coming out? Who knows? Can, can he get the number one contender spot and go on the win? Could we be seeing another title heading the Disney Alliance way? And the Disney Alliance has got enough members that could possibly hold all the titles here on Raw. Well, it's going to be difficult, but we're ready for the elimination hardcore style limit remember anything in play you can pin anyone anywhere you like and i'm sure one thing maz matt rhodes is watching this with well very very closely yeah i'm sure he's back there wondering which contender he's gonna have to face and defend his hardcore title against well let's see what goes on with this remember last night a memorable night for all when um, matt rhodes brung the title back after Mundo had it for SmackDown. But what did you make of it after the match? This whole Mundo shake hand thing? I think after the two matches they had, they kind of built a little bit of respect for each other. Well, we will. So we're going to see Matt Rhodes a little bit later in uh, action when he takes on uh, Joe Giovanni Diaz. Be very interesting matchup. I don't think those two have yet to face off, so we'll have to see how that goes in that matchup. Yeah, it should be very interesting. As Harry Smith takes over Daniel Cage as AGZ works on Bobby Hall. Trash can already in the ring. Remember, anything can be used here. Oh, AGZ onto the trash can. And I think that could be it. And can we see a third? Yeah. Third fish drop. You know, Bobby Hall likes to hit them fists. And it's not looking good for AJZ, but seeing that AJZ just took advantage of a little hesitation. And a backbreaker by Harry Smith on the other side. Smith into the cover on Cage, just gets a one. Gonna have to do a bit more than that, I think, um, to pin Daniel Cage. And it's going to take a lot to take down a caliber of an athlete like Daniel Cage. I think carries a little bit outmatched taking him on. 
and shots coming in. EGZ. Oh no. Going on. Smith has this submission on, on Cage. Cage is in a lot of trouble here. It looks like he's a lot of trouble. Harry Smith looks like he could tap and he has! Daniel Cage is tapped out. We're down to three. Wow, surprising. I, I would not have seen that coming. I mean, Harry Smith uh, using a submission hold to get Daniel oh, Cage out. Oh no, here we go again. Come on. Chaz and Bruce is at the back again. I know they were party. Oh my goodness! Looks like Bobby Holt's trying to score some home runs here. And uh, he's definitely cracking the wood over somebody. And look at this. Age is trying to get a pin. Bobby Holt's just swinging for the fences. And now it, you just can't keep your eye off each other, can you? No, this is just broken out into a pier six brawl. I mean, these two are, these three guys are just going at it. And Ages he trying to take advantage of Bobby Holt and as soon as he does that, Harry Smith takes advantage of Ages E being distracted back and forth in this one. Bobby Holt now getting a sledgehammer now. My goodness, you just can't keep your eyes off it for a moment here. Ages E looking to put Harry Smith away, but no. Oh no, oh, it looked like he was going to go for get boned, but Bobby Hall had other ideas. And there's the package P suplex, that could be enough, and it is! Bobby Hall's got a lot of pins with that one. We're down to two men, but Idris Z's got to be careful, Bobby Hall's got a sledgehammer. And look at this, Hall! Took advantage! Oh, wow! I Good think night. he might have broke his neck on that one. I, I don't know. That looked pretty painful. And that is it! A huge, huge win for Bobby Hall here tonight. He is again going for that hardcore title. Uh, that DDT did not look good. I, I'm serious. I think uh, HAZ may need some help. I think he might need more than a little bit of help. I mean, if you go back and watch that in a replay, that really looked uh, pretty devastating for him. And of course, we now know it'll be Matt Rhodes, Bobby Hall from the Raw side. We will now find out in the coming weeks who SmackDown will put in the match. Wow. I'm already looking forward to Extreme Rules already. And remember, guys, if you missed it last night, SummerSlam is now available on our YouTube page. Make sure you go across and catch the rerun of one of the best ever pay-per-views from NSW. Remember, you can catch it on our YouTube page absolutely free and along with Sunday Night Heat as well. Me and Maz were there all the way through for a very, very exciting pay-per-view with some shocking twists in the end. Also, Maz, remember, NSW is here four times a week. Raw on a Monday, main event on a Wednesday, Smackdown on a Thursday, NXT on a Saturday, Show start 11 o'clock in the UK, 6 in the East, 3 in the West. Remember, guys, get on EM out there. We cannot stress it enough. We need you guys to get onto social media, get onto Twitter, get onto Facebook, get on EM out there. The more people that know about us, the more and, more and bigger and bigger we get. Coming up next, it is in a normal one on one match. The hardcore champion, Matt Rhodes, is going to go on against Giovanni Diaz. We'll get to see the new hardcore champion make his debut on Raw and go up against a person he's never faced yet, in Giovanni Diaz. But not a hardcore match, you've got to remember that. It's just going to be a single match, so Matt Wood's taken out a really what, something that he's come accustomed to the last couple of weeks. Yeah, but uh, he started off as a regular wrestler, so hopefully... He hasn't forgotten too much of that, and you know, maybe he can kind of let the hard work kind of set aside for right now. Well, Giovanni Diaz looking to upset the party here tonight. Be the party poop as it may be, but seeing that, and win here, uh, Maz, and it could get really Giovanni into a, a big chance in one of the other titles. Fair, possibly, maybe even a. 
hardcore title shot after the pay-per-view, or maybe if he does really good in this match, he'll get one beforehand. Well, we will find out. As Giovanni makes his ring entrance for his match here tonight. But here is the new hardcore champion. He won it last night at SummerSlam. It is the groovy one, Matt Rhodes. Still dancing after last night and after the big party after SummerSlam was over. And what a night it was for Matt Rhodes last night, winning the hardcore championship. And, well, you've got to say it. The things definitely look groovy now here on Raw. Yeah, most definitely. He's moving up and getting an, another chance to run with a title and see how he can do with the hardcore title and see how he can do against Giovanni Diaz here tonight. Will Matt Rhodes continue the winning streak or will Giovanni Diaz spoil the party? We will find out. It is the next match on Raw this evening. So here we go. We're ready for the next match. Who are you going for in this one, Maz? I would have to probably go with the uh, hardcore champion. I think after last night, he's got a lot of momentum on his side. and Should possibly make short work of Giovanni Diaz here. Well, we will find out. Uh, look at this. Suplex. Oh, yes. Beauty. And don't get me wrong. Matt Woods is a former European champion. Former NXT champion, of course. He can't uh, go down what he's done in the ring, but since he's becoming this hardcore style, sort of upped his game a little bit. I mean, he's definitely gotten a little bit more aggressive than kind of playing to the crowd and joking around. Look at this, Rhodes. Oh my goodness! Front face slam, right down. And oh, but an insecurity by Giovanni changes it round. Taking it up again, but again the reversal from our hardcore champion. Again, good using. Oh, and I don't know if he sort of clipped him there. Man. Yeah, it looked like Giovanni might have caught him and hit him with like a, a face buster. You know, it didn't really affect Matt all that much. Nice shot to the back of the head. And. A lot of people have been seeing that there's a big target on Matt Rogers back now with being the hardcore champion. With both rosters, remember, going for the hardcore championship, more people going after you. Yeah, you definitely, you don't have just one roster going after you, you have both of them. And any point, you could have someone come up and want to challenge you for that hardcore title. And if you don't want to defend it, you don't have to, but it kind of looks bad if you don't. Yeah, it's definitely. Matt Rogers definitely doesn't seem to be the guy that will shy away from a challenge. Yeah, even he was one that stepped up to ch challenge the Monday to possibly get that chance at winning that hardcore title. Look at this, bit of shake, rattle, and roll! Right down. And now, into the cover, is this a win here for Matt Rogers? No, just a one. Gonna have to do a bit more than that to put Giovanni away here into the corner Rhodes now what is he going to do here to the top oh flying cross body Rhodes looks to be pulling out all the stops here tonight yeah, he used a little extra momentum jumping off the ropes there to get that splash done really turning it up here against Giovanni but look at this Diaz into the ankle lock didn't somehow lost his grip and then tried to go for a cross body of his own sort of grazed Matt Rhodes as he come through Rhodes now seems to be that little bit quicker. And now, Rhodes using the punches, the quickness. Oh, a little bit of grooving. And a whack down right between the eyes. Everyone's starting to feel it. He's starting to move and grooving in there. Oh, just a two. So close. Could we be seeing, could we seeing him getting set up for the groovy drop. Yeah, but Diaz trying to block everything. He, he knows what was coming. Did very well to block it. Rhodes has to continue to build to that. Look at that. Ah, oh, super kick. Super. Wow. 
Good night. Good night, Giovanni Diaz. A huge win here tonight for Matt Rhodes. Well, the groovy train keeps rolling on. But what a super kick. Nearly took the teeth out of Giovanni's mouth. And out. Hey, he was able to catch that catch and throw up in the air like that. It was impressive. And he hit that super kick the way he did. Big win. Big, big win. For Matt Rhodes. Congratulations to him. The hardcore champion of Raw wins again. We will look forward to the coming weeks for who will step up to the hard court championship. And hold on. Look at this. Diaz back up on his feet here. What's this all about? Wow! What the hell is that all about? Looks like Giovanni is getting tired of losing and wants to get noticed around here. Well, that's true. And he's not done. What is this? Guess he wants to show that he can be hardcore. Hold on, look at the ramp, look at the ramp! Look at it's what the hell? What the hell is he doing here? Yeah, well, Mother's not on SmackDown. He's over on SmackDown, not on Raw. But what the hell is this all about? Well, I wanna what is a SmackDown superstar doing on Raw? Where are we going to try and get answers? That is, that's just throwing me completely off, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up next, Taylor Breeze, Biggie Langston, non-title. That's what the world is Mundo doing here. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm as shocked as you. Well, I'll have to see, see if, uh, how that kind of develops later on. Maybe we get a word from either Mundo or Matt. I just, but I knew the whole respect thing, but why is he on Raw? Why is... Uh-oh. You don't... You don't think what I'm thinking, do you? Mundo? GM? Yeah. I don't know. It's very possible. There's a lot of speculation in there. It's been running around who could possibly be this new GM. But they, they couldn't make Mundo the GM, surely. I don't know. Wow. Well, we'll have well, to see, but... Getting back to this, this match what, up. what yeah. about Tyler Breeze last night, Maz? Definitely new attitude in Tyler Breeze. He's definitely decided to stake his own claim on his own, and he's had uh, Sean Bethard's number the past couple of weeks now. And what a chance for him here tonight to step up against Biggie Langston. Yeah, get a win over the uh, US champ, and possibly be seeing Tyler Breeze going for that US type. But, Maz. Is Biggie Langston 100% after last night, after what we've seen at SummerSlam? Yeah, him and Sheamus did have quite a battle, and you know it took a lot out of uh, Sheamus and Biggie Langston, so and, I'm sure he's not fully 100%. And what happened after the match? A certain Jason Miller. Oh yeah, I forgot all about Miller coming in and attacking him. Jason Miller, no one's been able to get a word with him. That's the thing. I haven't seen him, I haven't seen him at backstage, there's been no word from head office that we've signed him. So what the hell was he doing at SummerSlam last night? I've been told, well you can tell the story, sorry, that he was banned from MMA. Yeah, he was a little too reckless and there's been times where he wasn't able to, wasn't able to follow the rules and pretty much is no longer allowed to fight in the Octagon Arena. And and then maybe we signed him to a contract here in NSW. But why is he going after Biggie Langston? Uh, I'm not quite question. sure. Maybe, maybe he just saw a big fish and figured he could make a name. Well, here we go for, for the next list is non-title. Maz, who are we going for in this one? Um, even though Biggie Langston's kind of beat up, I'm going to have to go with Biggie. I mean, he is the champion. And he does have the power and strength over Tyler Breeze. Look at this, Breeze though, trying definitely to make a name here. Look at this, nice shot! Right into the chest. I've got to say, Tyler Breeze has definitely impressed me over the last few weeks with his new aggressive style. And look at that, look at the just quick, it has Biggie Langston's number with a quick feet. 
And just, he's definitely got the speed and agility over Biggie Langston, and he's definitely showing it off right here. Of course, Tyler is now looking to make it on his own, and if he can beat the United States champion here tonight, surely that could put him in for a title shot down the road. Yep, knock off the champion, and it's definitely going to raise the ire of the, the bookers in the back. The Definitely look to see if he can possibly get the title taken away from Biggie Langston. Yeah, who, of course, is going to be our new GM. I Could it be Mundo? Could it be Joe Disney? Could it be Jim Michaels? Is he here? Who knows? I, Could I'm, it be Joey Mild? Oh, we're not allowed to mention him. Did you not get the memo? I, know uh, I heard that. I heard that he was possibly rumored to be coming back. Uh, uh, I don't. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, look at this. Showing off again, Tyler Breeze, really. Um, Minic, sorry, taking the mick, they would say, out of Sean Batterick. DDT by Breeze. Is that enough to put Langston away, who's never been in this match? Just a two. And my, that match last night must have took a lot more out of Biggie Langston than he thought. And not being able to get all, get all the running blocks here. Oh, look at this again. Taz and Bruce having to come out after this match to help us. And, uh-oh, trouble here. I think we better move. Time to move. Incoming. Oh, my goodness me. Right the way through the table. And Tyler Breeze is pumped up with that. The Florida water going everywhere. Laptops all over the place. This is going crazy. Yeah, we thought the hardcore title was in the last match. Exactly, look at this. The beauty shot on the outside by Tyler Breeze. But he's got to get Langston back inside the ring here. Oh, and the super kick to the back of the head. You've got to say, Maz, Tyler Breeze has been unbelievable here tonight. And he's been all over Biggie Langston. I've uh, really seen a lot more out of Tyler Breeze in this match. The thing is, can Tyler Breeze put Biggie Langston away here? Another insecurity. How many shots has Langston took to the head? Breeze looking to end this. Into the cover. No hook of the leg. Is that enough? It is. Wow. Big win for Tyler Breeze. This could possibly be his... Uh propel to the next level a huge huge win for tyler breeze here tonight and well maybe we have just got a new number one contender yeah, it's very possible i mean tyler breeze has definitely changed his attitude and it's definitely helped him in getting to the next level well tyler breeze your winner here tonight and well i would just say maybe we might be looking at the next US champion right there. And we get Langston up. Oh man, not again! Where's the damn security in this place? Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely beef up security and make sure he doesn't get back in. If he is signed with the if he is signed here at NSW then we need to know. He needs to yeah, Biggie needs to get a match against him. Coming up next is the NSW Tag Team Championships. The Hounds take on the team of Tim Ridge and Zadland. And this match has been building for weeks. I mean, everyone's been seeing Tim Ridge coming out and attacking the Hounds. and Now we know why. He wants to get a hold of the Tag Team titles. Well, the Hounds, of course, have held the Tag Team titles now for a couple of months. And, uh... Well, they asked for this match last night. Yeah, and Tim Rage has definitely found himself a great tag team partner in Zadland. Um, there's two big monsters together. It's going to be a tough task for the Hounds to face. Well, we will find out. Because, yeah, come the Hounds. And here is the monster. Tim Ridge. I still get chills seeing him come out. 
I just wouldn't like to be in a room by myself with this guy. I just don't know what the world he's going to get up to. And of course, guys, remember, if you're watching NSW for the first time, make sure you do check out all our social media. Again, guys, we can't grow without the help of you. We need just to tell everyone about us on our Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Any help you can do is always the best. Please, guys, get our name out there. Of course, we much appreciate anything you can do to help NSW. Well, as I take a very long drink of my Florida water here, this guy just scares the living daylight out of me. Well, we thought Rage was scary. Here comes his tag team partner. Yeah, we haven't seen much of Zadland since he came over to Raw, but he made a huge impact at SummerSlam last night. And well, he is ready to go to war with his new tag team partner, Tim Rage. These two demons of destruction are gonna cause havoc, I think. I would just be saying, maybe the Hounds just picked the wrong fight here. Yeah, could be a uh, right place, but wrong time. Well, Dadland, just look. I'm sorry, but these two might just be one of the most fearsome tag team we could ever have on Raw. Uh, it could possibly be the most fearsome tag team in NSW. I mean, a lot of people thought the Ascension were a scary tag team, but seeing these two together, I think they may take that prize. Well, let's find out. The tag team titles are on the line. That is what they're going for, the NSW tag team titles. Who is going to take this one? The Hounds or the new team of Rage and Zadland? Who are you going for in this one, Maz? I want to go with the tag team champs, but I think I'm up to side with uh, Zadlan and Rage. Guys, get your voting in the NSW app. Remember, keep your comments coming in, and we will try and get them read out if anything is worth saying. Nice swinging neck break up by the Hounds, of course. Uh, you are big on the Hounds, Maz. Yeah, but I think they've kind of run into a force that they can't match up against. These two big behemoths that are in the ring that they're facing off against definitely take them to their next li uh, next limit. Look at this though, Hounds, they're working over Tim Rage here. Maybe the quick thing to do is, and despite the one this match, is to get it over and done with as quick as possible. Yeah, definitely try and cut off the ring and keep one guy in, the, in their corner and work him over, but it's kind of hard when they're kind of outmatched in strength and size. It's true. Rage here. He just tosses him over the top. And then going to bring him back in the hard way. Suplex back in. Of course, guys, if you have missed Summer Slam last night, where were you? But you two ways you can watch it. You can watch it on our YouTube page. Just search Nonstop Wrestling UK. Or on past broadcasts on our Twitch channel. Make sure if you didn't watch it last night, you catch it up right after Raw. As Hounds looking to get one here. Nope, Zadlan, not even a one count. I have to give the Hounds credit though. They're showing no fear in here. They're taking it right to him. And again, just working over Zadlan here. Shot into the corner. And you have to say the Hounds have done pretty well here tonight, Maz, so far. Yeah, they're definitely, like I said, not afraid to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these two guys, but... I just think that they're going to be outmatched later on when it comes down to the final minutes of the match. Look at this though, Zadlan just picking it up with ease and just dropping him. I'm going to say Zadlan has got some scary strength in him and a nice neck breaker as well. And you've got to say, Hound's in a lot of trouble now, just as I said they were doing well. Zadlan has turned the tide here, Tim Rage back in. But saying that, there again, quick reversal, Rage continuing on with the assault. 
And you've got to see if you know the hounds, you've got to desperately get a tag here. Yeah, it looks like uh, Jason Crew needs to look to get uh, Rage over another corner, but it's a power of him. Yeah, Jason Crew got him, and then he's going to get his tag partner, and yes, he is. Into the corner of Zadler and just watching on another big boot. Back and forth, this tag team title match is gone. Where's he going here? Maybe the wrong corner to do this in. And he gets caught. Uh-oh. Big choke slam from the top. That has got to be it. No, Zadler not going for the cover, though. Yeah, he's looking to inflict a lot more damage, it looks like. And this could be it. New tag team champions right here. Two, no, just a two and a bit. Not a, this could do it, though. Choke slam city. We have new tag team champions into the cover. Hook of the leg. Two. Oh, the break up with two. And Tim Rage was a little bit out of position there. Maybe that could catch them, be the problem here. Watch out. Ah, oh, the boot right to the side of Zablan's face. He needs to tag Jason back in. Zablan back up again. Oh, but the uppercut. The hounds have got to stay on Zablan here. Watch out. Oh, got Buster. Could that be enough, Maz? Very well could possibly. I mean, J Jason Cruz showing he's not fearing him. Uh, the, he's taking uh, it right to Zadling. Yeah, he's going to look for that splash again. Yes! Hits it perfectly. Cover. Have the hounds retained the titles. One. No, the referee two out of position. Zadling kicking out at one. Oh, wait a minute. What was that all about? Like Tim, Tim Rage wants to get back in here and he wants to try and finish it up. But it, it, Zadlan wasn't having any of that. Zadlan wasn't happy. Good buster by Jason Crew. And now, really, do you want to be showing off? Well, maybe he feels that he's got this match well in hand right now. And... Oh, the shot right to the forehead of Tim Reid Zadlan being knocked off right in front of us. Could this be the victory for the Hounds? Yes, it is! And the Hounds are still Tag Team Champions. Very impressive win for the Hounds. Uh, they were up against the tough challengers in Zadlan and Tim Reid, but they were able to pull it out. And the Hounds are still your NSW Tag Team Champions. Who will be the next team to come up and try and face these hounds? Could we possibly be seeing the Russian connection and maybe the Wyatt family? Well, we will find out. But for tonight, the hounds, after defending the tiles just 24 hours ago, put, go past another tag team and they are still your NSW tag team champions. Congratulations to them. They continue to roll on. They are on ball. Hold on. That McMunder, what's he do? Wait a minute. Here we go, Maz. Are we gonna find out? Who will it be? He's gonna tell us now. Seeing that he's interviewed a lot of people. Who's it? Oh my goodness, who who is gonna be the new boss of Raw? He's saying, of course, that it's a great job of leading. To end, well, it's going to be to the end of season two and continuing to build NSW each week. Oh my goodness, who is this going to be? Maz, final prediction? I'm going to have to probably go with Joe Disney. I think he did a great job last week. Well, he's saying he's got to be best for business and making lots of money. Who is it going to be? Come on, I want to know. What the hell? What the hell? Carlos Rodriguez? What the, Ricardo, what the hell is he? No way. Should be interesting to see how he's gonna dictate Raw here. You, 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 you can't be kidding me, right? 
know, maybe Vince came with Monday wanted someone that he could uh, maybe work the strings of. Wow. Well, Ricardo is now on new GM. He's going to speak to us. I, I, I'm confused. And he's saying, Maz, that it's going to be a fair role where superstars will have to earn title matches, not be given them. Well, maybe he's going to play it by the rules and maybe we're going to see a lot more action and better matches. And he's saying next week we will find out number one contenders for all titles and the build up to extreme rules start. Of course, remember under Jen Michaels and Joe Dizzy, we sort of had. Uh, Sort of no number one contenders till right before the last pay per view. Yeah, could we finally have our first non corrupt Raw GM? Like so coming up next is your main event of the evening. The Wyatt family take on the new World Heavyweight Champion Ryan Fox, Travis Soul, and Jake Kaifa. Can the Disney Alliance thwart, uh, thwart off the channel? Wyatt family one teed off Bray Wyatt after losing the World Heavyweight Championship last night thanks to Joe Disney now he has a thing for you Maz Joe Disney is now no longer protected yeah you now it's uh, Joe all against his, uh, up against the world I mean can he be able to stop the Wyatt family from coming after him well, we are now going to find out because this has just got a little bit interesting. Ricardo, our new GM of Raw. I'm a little bit shocked. I, it takes, I know I get shocked easily, but this, I'm even more shocked. Yeah, it's very interesting to see that we got a new GM and Ricardo Rodriguez and here comes our new heavyweight champion, in, uh, Brian Fox. Um, well, here is indeed the world heavyweight champion, Ryan Fox. And his, Di well, Disney Alliance members now, you would have to say. Okay, Brian Fox is... Finally cashed in his briefcase and got himself a world championship title belt and got a little bit of backup here. But this is going to be some six man tag team action coming up right now. Main event time. Maz, who are you going for in this one? Uh, I'm probably going to have to go with the Disney Alliance. Uh, I think they have a little more momentum on their side and just the sheer effect of that. Who knows where Disney's at right now? I am just stunned. This, this night, if NSW just can, continues to stun me episode after episode, this one, now we've got a new GM. We've had Jason Miller attack Biggie Langston again. We've had Mundo now come out, who's not even on Raw. What else is going to happen? Who knows now that we have our new GM? Things are going to definitely change around here and definitely probably going to see a lot better action. And Ricardo now saying that Raw is now all going to be about people earning title shots and not be given them. Yeah, so it's going to make getting that win just that much more special to move up the rankings to possibly get a title shot. And now you're going to see who sucks up to the boss. And will he take that? Will he cater to people who try to suck up to him or will he just go on wins and losses mm, it's very true look at this Fox now in control of Eric Rowan has him up oh there it is the package pile, uh, suplex looking for the win here and managed to be broken up by Bray Wyatt 
Of course, no Joe Disney out at ringside. I think Joe must be licking his wounds, you would say, Maz. Yeah, I'm sure he's backstage at least keeping an eye on his alliance out here, though. Do you think he's scared of Bray Wyatt? Well, wouldn't you be? I mean, well, most people are. That's true. As a shot there, a double team on a World Heavyweight Champion here. Luke Harper working over a Ryan Fox. Of course, Ryan Fox shot the world last night, coming out, new Disney Alliance member at SummerSlam, winning the World Heavyweight Championship, cashing in money in the bank on Bray Wyatt. And well, it'd be interesting to see what Ricardo has for him in the coming weeks. Yeah, what will our new GM, Mr. Rodriguez, do? And how will it affect the talent here on Raw? And I'm sure we're going to see a lot of more um, interesting matchups as the coming weeks uh, leading up to Extreme Rules. And of course, we're still to find out two members of the Hardcore Championship match. Make sure you tune in to SmackDown this th uh, Thursday to see if we find out anything on that. As Harper drops down on uh, Jay Kaifi here looking for the cover. Doesn't get it though. Drop to the knee as well now, taking Kaifa off his vertical base. But you've got to say, Maz, Eric Owen and Luke Harper, no slouches in the ring themselves. Uh, they're definitely a great tag team, and I mean, I could see if them eventually possibly capturing the world tag team title at some point. Ooh, look at this, into the cover. Harper looking for the win on Kaifa, and just a two. Now everyone in the ring. Kaifa, they've taken advantage of the referee turning his back. Can he put Harper away here? Has him up. Oh! Suplex release through. Dragging into the ring. Yep. Middle getting ready for the pin. Soul tried to take out Bray Wyatt. It didn't work. Wyatt into the ring. Should be able to break this up. Does just in the nick of time. Soul not be able to stop Bray Wyatt coming in. Kaifa trying to take advantage now. Big DDT on Luke Harper. But Kaifa now going to tag in the World Heavyweight Champion here. Oh, nice shot by Harper taking out the World Heavyweight Champion. Now taking out the rest of the Disney Alliance. It's not looking good for the champ. It's not indeed. Harper has got the champ all where he wants him here. And but look at this. Fox still fighting back. Heart of the champion. He's definitely showing here in this matchup. Oh, referee distracted. What the hell did Harper just hit our champion with? I think Frank Fox is out of it. Look at the, the line. referee's definitely lose control of this. And that's three. Harper has just pinned the world heavyweight champion. Well, a bit of miscommunication there between the Disney Alliance. Not looking good for him. And if this night couldn't get any worse for Joe Disney, well, the Disney Alliance fall here in this six-man match. White has a little bit of revenge. But we now know, move on to next week. What will Ricardo have for the Raw roster? You are going to have to tune in and find out. Remember, guys, your next viewing from NSW is main event. What is going to happen on there? Join us Wednesday night. But your winners in the main event are Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family. And that is it. Maz, another episode done. And wow, what an episode it was. Whew. Too much to go through at the end here. Maz, very final shocking. Thoughts? Very. Uh, what a shocking night. And, uh, where can we go from now? We'll go from here with uh, Mr. Rodriguez as our GM. Well, we will find out. Maz, as always, so goodbye to the fans. See you next time, fans. And that is it from Dave Easton, Maz Freeway. Thanks for watching. We will see you for NSW.